Fans of the Horus Heresy, thank you very much for joining me for an out-of-the-pack review of the Legio Custodes Sagittarum Guard upgrade set by Fordroald. So the flood of releases for the Talons of the Emperor continues and the latest edition is in the form of a resin component upgrade set to make a squad of five Sagittarum Guard. So you get two options with these guys. You can either buy a full kit from Fordroald, which comes with this set, plus the box set of five custodian guard or alternatively you can just buy the upgrade set so yeah i like the fact they've split them and um, it gives you as a buyer more choice and choice i always think is a good thing certainly when it comes to buying forge all miniatures so yeah you get all the parts you need to make five sagittarium guard and these are kind of like these are the daca custodians uh, which are armed with these um, very dangerous combined bolt collivers, uh, which has got a cheeky Adrathic destructor on the underslung weapons position. So yeah, disintegrations all around. Yes, please. So we're just going to look at these guys in this review. My actual plastic models to complete the build of these are get, coming from another source, and well, there'll be further reviews to do around that. So we will we won't talk any more about that. But we will have a look at these parts to get some heads or helmets, should I say? We get a set of arms A and a set of arms B and five bolt collivers, if I've remembered the name correctly. So we'll stick you there. We'll drop you down a little bit. We'll just see if we can. Yes, hovering, sneaking around in the background there is a, a dedicated transport, which I'm going to use for these guys. Right, so let's start off with the helmets. So, these have got a suitably groovy custodian look to them. The, the face plates have got a familiar styling to them when we compare these to the plastic miniatures that Games Workshop produced. However, the whole upper part of the headgear has been radically changed. And we now have a, a spike. Let's see if we can get the focus. There we go. So yes, well, in the grim darkness of the 31st century, we can also have pickle halves. So yes, these are, these are being clearly direct uh, modeled on the German pickle halb helmet, made famous by the Prussian military era. Um, yeah, so perhaps if someone, someone might be able to do a, a conversion of these where they take the faceplate off, uh, put a face in and then put a, a big Otto von Bismarck um, moustache on one of these guys. I think that could look quite cool. But yeah, nice looking. I guess it, it sort of gives them a slightly more under key look, which perhaps suits their shootiness better. So yeah, lovely looking heads. So that's the first bit of parts for these chaps. And let's have a look at the Adrastus bolt clivers. So, yeah, actually, talking of, before I talk about eagles, I forgot to point out, but love the detail on the crest of these. They've got these eagles, and you can actually see the, the head of the eagle has got this, is a relief feature, so it looks really good. And that actually echoes the eagle design on the chests of the custodian dreadnoughts, so the Achilles and the Galatus dreadnoughts. That's a very nice design uh, meme being carried through there. Right, back to the, anyway, talking of eagles, back to the bolt clivers. So yes, so I've got some more wings there. Got a nice bit of custodian filigree. We like th filigree. They've gone with the design decision to put hands on the weapon. That's going to need some work doing, I think, when it comes to building these. So based on my experience of building these hand-on weapon models before, I will pin these to the, uh, I'll put pins in to get a secure fit and, and also to make sure I don't go insane when I'm uh, when mounting these on the uh, plastic models. But yeah, they look really good. And this little, I mean, okay, this weapon is big. I mean. These are kind of like short, slightly, it's almost like a carbine version of a heavy bolt gun. That's the sort of weapon you're talking about, but it's nowhere near as big as a heavy bolter. But this little underslung carbine thing here, which doesn't look particularly big, has got enough hitting power to knock out a Land Raider in a single shot or any other standard tank on account of its armor bane uh, rule. And likewise, it can vaporize 
any living thing in a single shot because it also have in, has instant death. These are these going to make excellent candidates to bore out. So I'll, I'm going to bore out all these barrels. I think that'll make them look brilliant. Beautiful casting quality. These are yeah, perfectly turned out. Excellent stuff. Look absolutely spot on. Lovely. Like. And then let's have a look at some arms as well. Uh, so we've got these double or single, single, yeah, they've double headed eagles on the forearms. We've got these large, um, I can't remember what they call those now. What are that piece of arms called? Interesting, this section here actually looks like fabric. Intriguing. Hmm. The, these have been numbered as well, so you, I guess they're numbered. Uh, there we've got corresponding numbers there and Oh yeah, I've also got corresponding numbers there. So that's nice, that's nice, uh, really nice kit design that. And that's gonna make putting these together much more easy to do. You know, it's dead easy to see which arms go with which. So yeah, so good detail there. I'm gonna have some fun heating these up to do some poses, I think. You may as well, if you're gonna do resin models, you may as well take advantage of the medium, even if the um, plastic bodies, you know, obviously don't cater to that. Yeah, lovely. I should have bought myself a second pack of these. I might do that just to have on hand. But yeah, very nice and beautifully cast as well. I mean, this is the, the this kit's absolutely perfectly turned out. Just what you want um, when you buy yourself a forge or model. Very nicely turned out indeed. There is my review of the uh, Sagittarium Guard upgrade set. It'll probably be a while before I come back to actually do the model review because I'm waiting for, for the actual plastic custodians to arrive and then I've got some more stuff to do before I actually get on to combine these in with that. I will come back to that and uh, we'll see how these guys look once they're built. Thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.